race two of the season brings us to the Miss Craft Racing Complex, the home of the Miss Craft Cup Series. Here we are at the quarter mile oval and road course combination nestled into the Appalachian Hills of Northern Georgia for race number two out of 10 here in this eighth campaign of the NASCAR Miss Craft Cup Series. 27 drivers are set to take on this challenging quarter mile oval here with just very little banking. Uh, it is pretty progressive though, so there are multiple lanes that these drivers are able to use. And uh, one of the drivers that was able to conquer that last year, the driver, was Martin Truex Jr. He will start third here today, and he's going to have a lot of uh, other competitors hungry to get that trophy here today and be crowned champion of the quarter mile oval here uh, in Georgia. Now, of course, like I said, that this is a, a, a complex that has a, multiple different configurations of racetracks here. We got a couple road courses, we got the quarter mile oval, and even a figure eight track that has yet to be uh, put into action here uh, at the Miscraft Racing Complex. But with that out of the way, here getting ready for the 20 lap event here today. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the drivers to watch for in today's event. Of course, we got to look at Daniel Suarez, your uh, most recent winner, the Daytona 500 winner. He starts a little bit further back in the field today he is starting in the 18th position he's got a lot of work to uh, to do if he wants to get up to the front and defend that Daytona 500 title but uh, he'll be back there and he's got a very strong car and strong driver behind the wheel to be able to do just that but the guy starting at the very front of the field can't go much further than this the pole sitter Kevin Harvick he is still in a 15 race winless streak and uh, we'll see if he is going to be able to get that uh, quench here today at the Miscraft Racing Complex and uh Last win was out at Homestead, so very different racetrack, but we'll see if he can do it here today. The driver that did get this win here last season was Martin Truex Jr. He was also the Season 7 champion, so will the winner of this race go on to be the champion? Could Truex do it back-to-back -back in both of those? We're about to find out here today. He starts third. And here's your starting lineup for the rest of the drivers, Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch. A couple of old guys on the front, really, Martin Truex Jr. and William Byron. And have Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace. And back behind them in row number four is Joey Logano and Kyle Busch. Running your top ten here today, Ryan Blaney and Tyler Reddick. You know, back behind them, Alex Bowen and Christopher Bell. Bowen had a huge tumble in Daytona last week. Uh, here's Chase Sillett and Kyle Larson, a couple of the other Hendrick drivers. Austin Dillon and Brad Keselowski. Then you have Ryan Newman and Daniel Suarez, your Daytona 500 winner. You have Chris Buescher and Chase Briscoe in the top 20. Behind them, Ross Chastain and Cole Custer. And you have Eric Amarola and Corey LaJoy. And then back behind them is Ricky Sinaus Jr. and Eric Jones. Running a few here today is Matt D. Benedetto. And there's your 27 car field here today for the Miss Grand Racing Complex. This two, uh, excuse me, this 0.25 mile, this quarter mile oval, uh, banking from 7 to 13 degrees. So it is progressive. The top side of the racetrack is more banked. It'll be a 20 lap race with Harvick on the pole. And we are still, uh, have to reiterate this, still 2021 roster with the Gen 6 race cars. And head on down to circuitdiecast.com. Use the code to NMCS Racing. You can get free shipping on all of your orders on hats, t-shirts, diecasts, and more for over $20 uh, using the code NMCS Racing in the United States. And the engines are firing, and we're rolling off here with the Miscraft Racing Complex, getting this double header underway. And we've got 27 cars getting ready to try to fit their way through this quarter mile level. As you can see, they're already taking up over half of the racetrack in just the pace laps. As Willie Noel will look us over, we're taking us to the green flag here today for 20 laps. Harvick on the inside, Kurt Busch on the out. We're underway here in Georgia. Harvey gets away with a lead. He's going to try to uh, get clear of those guys behind him. Back to turn three. Same for Kurt Busch right there. He's going to be clear of that three-wide battle. Now with Denny Hamlin all the way on the inside, using that curbing on the inside. As Harvick leads lot number one, they're side-by-side for third with Byron on the outside of the racetrack. Going to try to get clear of the 11 car. Now on the back straightaway, Kevin Harvick going to have a little bit of a mirror full of the one car. He's going to have a door full on the inside lane. Kurt Busch goes to the very inside. Can't make that work as that outside lane gets a huge run off the top side of the racetrack. And here you take a look at it already. A lot more uh, packed together than it was last season. Still uh, have some everyone on the lead lap. It was lap two when the first cars went a lap down last season. As Kevin Harvick still battles the one of Kurt Busch for the lead. Here's Hamlin sliding off turn four. He's going to try to hold on to that position on the inside lane. That curbing on the inside can help you out just a little bit with your turning. But here's Logano trying to shove it three wide. But he's going to fall in line right behind the number 24 of William Byron. As DiBenedetto is the first car to lose a lap. As everyone now beginning to negotiate lap traffic here. We've got the four Kevin Harvick with the number one of Kurt Busch back behind him. He looks slow on the number seven of Corey LaJoy. That opens the door for Kurt Busch on the outside lane. They're going to go three wide. Two cars for the lead, one a lap car. Kurt Busch going to use that outside lane run to try to take the lead away from the four Kevin Harvick. And he's going to do just that. The 24 is going to try to follow suit as Kurt Busch goes three wide again on SHR teammates Kurt Cole Custer and Kevin Harvick. 
Kerb Bush gonna lead him off turn number four now. Here comes Byron onto the back bumper of the number one machine. Oh, we got one car off in turn number one. Huge crash into the barrier right there at the end of the wall, right in front of the track workers. Ross Chastain with a hellacious smash into the tire in the barrel right there. Red flag is out. And let's see what happened. A huge crash in turn one. It looks like the car locked up getting into the corner and then got catapulted on top of the tires right there. Big crash for the 42. Let's see one more time right here. Oh, just dug into the grass and that launched his car up into the air and on top of those barrels. Look at this one more time. Just boom right there. Oh, what a hard hit for the 42 car. And what a close call for the track workers right there. They've got to keep their eye out, put some uh, new bridges on before they go out there and have to go back to work. And you see the 42 uh, being dragged back to the garage area. Tough luck for him. He will be the first car out of this race here today. And uh, they put the tires back there with that barrel right in front. And those track workers might have been backed up just a little bit there. Uh, be a little bit extra safe, but for the rest of the remainder of the race here today, they're going to have to keep their eyes peeled. And uh, as you can see here, Cole Custer is going to be the car getting the free pass. The Toyota Super Pace car is going to lead the guys back around to the green flag. Kurt Busch on the outside. He will be the leader on William Byron. Green flag's back in the air. A good push on the outside lane, but Byron tries to slide in front of him. Four wide for the lead. Here comes Logano through the gut. He's going to try to take over the second position now, and he's going to do just that back to turn number three. And here comes Kurt Busch with the lead. He's got Logano clear back behind him. Harvick on the inside trying to make that work. Four wide again. There's Wallace making that work. Oh, there's more contact. Wallace and Blaine in the outside wall. There's a little bit of a hook job gone wrong right there. As the number 12 right. Oh, there's more contact and spinning into turn one. A huge pile up. Almirola shoved into half the field, it looks like, into turn number one. And the caution's back out here at the Miscraft Racing Complex. Six cars piled up into turn number one. Chase Sully will escape the fray in a massive, massive crash. Just off the restart here. Let's see what happened. You see the 10 of Eric Amarola there off turn number four. Try to avoid that out in that little uh, angle in the wall right there. I shouldn't say little. That is a huge angle coming off of that pit road exit right there. Onto the front straight away. A lot of these guys like to cut that, like to cheat it to get a little bit more momentum off the corner. But the uh, 10 of Eric Amarola kind of went a little bit too far right there and trying to overcorrect the car, spun the tires. And then everyone in front of him were slowing down for turn one. And he just pile drives into everybody. You see the 9 of Chase Elliott just barely avoid the fray on the outside with very little damage, a very little contact there. You see he is on pit road getting repairs to that number 9 machine. You see Keselowski, Dylan, Elliott, Amarillo, Briscoe, and Busher where the cars involved there. And now LaJoy will be getting the free pass. We will restart here on lap number 13. Green flags coming back in the air. Kurt Busch continues to lead. He's got Lagan onto his inside. Here we come back to turn number one. Kurt Busch with the outside lane advantage off turn two. He's going to be able to keep the lead as the number 22 is going to retain second as well. Side by side battle is now for third. Harvick on the outside of Byron. He'll have that run. Onto the front straightaway now. Kurt Busch going to try to extend that gap by about a car length now over Joey Logano. Harvick now clear for third. And here's Byron falling back to his Hendrick teammate Alex Bowman who started to make a show up into the front here. Here he comes with teammate Kyle Larson. Tricks back there as well. And there's Logano trying to use a little bit of a higher line than Kurt Busch. Going to try to get the run. He will. He's going to look at the inside of Kurt Busch right there for the lead. Joey Logano is going to clear him into turn number one. New leader number 22 on the back straightaway here. Oh, there's more contact. There goes the number 19 of Martin Truex. the front bumper with the number 24, William Byron. Cautions back out. And the 19 of Truex rights the ship very quickly. Let's see what happened here off turn number two. The 24 got loose on the inside of the 19. And your reigning winner of this race last season, Martin Truex Jr., goes around off the front bumper of Hendrick engine number 24. Right through the cones there as well on the uh, exit of the road course section. And uh, you see right there, not too much harm done to the body of the number 19, but he is on pit road getting a little bit of body work done on that race car. The third caution is out, and that means we're going to have a restart with three laps to go now. Logano, like every other leader in this race, has chosen the outside lane for the restart. Three laps to go. Who's going to win here today? The Miscraft Racing Complex. Green flags back on the air. And it's a whale of a shove from Alex Bowman to turn number one. But Bowman looks low. Three wide for the lead. And through the middle. Splits the 48. Down to the inside. Here comes Logano, though. He's got that run on the outside lane. He's got Larson following him. Two laps to go at the line. Contact between the leaders now. Here comes Larson to the outside. What a power move for him. Back to turn number one. Lap and a half to go now as Logano tries to scoot away. The 48 gets loose on the inside of his teammate. Down the back. Here they come to turn number three. What will Larson do with the 22? of Joey Logano. White flag flies this time by. As we close the penultimate lap, here comes the five of Larson all over the back bumper of the number 22. Ha a quarter mile left to go. Here's Larson trying to throw it into turn one. He overdrives it. 
And if he wants a shot at Logano, back in turn number three, he's going to throw the kitchen sink at him from a car link back. Here they come into turn number three. He's up against the wall. Rim riding for the lead, for the win. It's a drag race off turn four to the line. They spin across, and Joey Logano is going to win here at the Miscraft Racing Complex. And Larson tried to video game it coming into turn number three, and it does not prevail. Joey Logano wins for the first time since season number five at Gateway. And what a race it was. Here's the final lap right here. Logano trying to hold off the five of Kyle Larson. He was thrown at every which angle. I mean, everything was thrown at him here. And you see the Larson just drive into turn number three, climb the wall a little bit there. He had the advantage on the top side, but then Logano ran it wide and he slammed that wall coming out of the pit exit right there and then hit Logano. And let's see that crash one more time right here. You see, uh, of course, Larson up against the wall. I don't know how he got to the quarter panel of the 22. Slid off the corner, slammed that wall, came into Logano, and they both crashed across the finish line. And the winner is Joey Logano on the record here at the Miscraft Racing Complex. He came up short last season, but this time comes out on top victorious for the 22 of Joey Logano. And as I mentioned, it was his first race a win since gateway of season number five a long time ago. In 2019, let's see look at the race results here today. Joey Logano, of course, takes home the win. Kyle Larson comes home second. Denny Hamlin comes home third with Bowman and Harvick back there, uh, rounding out the top five. Your reigning winner of this race is Martin Truex Jr. And, well, he's going to finish way back there in the number 18 position. And you see the, starting with the guys, uh, Brad Keselowski, the first ones out of this race uh, due to the incidents that happened in the middle of it. And... Um, the point standings are going to be a little bit more shaken up than they were last week because we have gone through a race and some drivers did not start today that did last week in Daytona. Daniel Suarez retains the points lead. He's got Christopher Bell still setting a second behind him. But Joey Logano catapults up into the third position uh, with a tie breaker with he and Denny Hamlin. He has the uh, higher finishing position uh, from this race, so he will get that position to Denny Ham from off of Denny Hamlin. And you see a lot of the guys back here, some of them like Michael McDowell, J.J. Yaley, Gear Smithley. Uh, those guys have not raced, but they are still going to be in the standings unlike last season. And, uh, well, that what a thriller it was here today, the Miscraft Racing Complex Oval. It's only half of the couple of races to come. Of course, next up is the road course, the Cup Circuit, the race track we raced at last year. And Denny Hellman got it done over Ryan Blaney. And we'll see who can come out on top this time here at the Miscraft Racing Complex on the road course. We'll see who can get it done. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to go on down to circuitbydiecast.com and use the code NMCS Racing on checkout. And other than that, we'll see you guys race number three right back here in the Appalachian Hills of Georgia. Look at this dude. He's having an absolute nap. I bet that's the best nap he's had in years.